In December 1936, Automotive Industries Magazine, engineering editor P.M. Helt said that the sketches failed to show any features hitherto unknown in carburetors and absolutely gives no warrant for crediting the remarkable results claimed in Charles Nelson Pogue's 1936 carburetor developed from 1927. No one reputable was allowed to see the miracle in action or have a chance to measure its results, test it, or check to see if it was faked. The hoax carburetor was not heard of after a put-up-and-shut-up demand came from its investors. But some chose to believe the 200-mile-per-hour, or excuse me, 200-mile-per-gallon car suppression theory. Unlike the never-mentioned Canadian petroleum industry, car makers had no vested interest in how much fuel a car uses. So why wouldn't they use this irresistible technology to bait customers like they always do, like they always have done? And yes, any government would use this to kill foreign oil dependents because there was never any evidence that the government oil or motor oil or motor industry ever suppressed or bought up the rights that are now available in the public domain as expired patents you can build and prove. Or be ridiculed for the Charles Nelson Pogue Winnipeg 200 mile per gallon vaporware carburetor patent hoax of 1927 to 1936. It never worked. He never demonstrated it. He never let someone double check to see if he was lying to them. And why would everybody out there suddenly become so trusting of something unproven, untested, and not ever verified, while immediately assuming everybody in the world is out to get them? Selective paranoia since 1927. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that.